My name is Andrea. I'm a channel between two worlds. For years, I have seen how fear can affect people. I don't know. The absence of light. Their perception. And interpretation. Ghosts. Poltergeists. Demonic, Demonic entities. <laughs> what is real? My name is Andrea. It's time to push the limits. We've travelled to southern New South Wales to investigate some strange events at an old sanatorium. Due to the sensitive state of this facility, we were asked by the owners to keep the name of the location confidential. When on location, I prefer to do a walkthrough on my own to allow me to connect with the psychic energies of the place. <laughs> to ensure the purity and integrity of the information I may receive psychically, I make sure that I know as little as possible of the location I'm visiting. This place, however, is an exception. I have been here many times before. After I did my initial walk through, I met up with Dennis, who is the caretaker. Has it always been a mental asylum? Pretty much, yes. During the Second World War, the army came in and took it over, and they basically modernised a lot of the hospital. It didn't, a lot of the buildings didn't have electricity, it was still run by gaslight and things there. Um, they were here for about five or six years, um, and then the patients came back and it pretty much operated up until the mid-90s. So you know, being around for over a hundred years, this place must have quite a colourful history. There's lots of stories. A patient broke into one of the superintendent's houses and stole the only gun on site and actually shot three people. One of the nurses actually died that day. So do you, do you hear stories from people that work around the site? Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard lots of stories over the years from various generations that worked out here. I've never seen anything personally that's freaked me out. I see things that I can't explain sometimes, you know, a window that's open or a door we can't keep shut or that something you know, like that. That you know that you're closed? Yeah, no, that's closed, it's locked and there's no one else been in or a window on the second floor that I'm the only one with the keys. Some of the crew just before we started shooting mentioned that they heard footsteps upstairs. Um, and they've just come down from upstairs and they said there's no one up there, so... No, I've, I've had people staying mm. in this building uh, ring me up at 8 o'clock one summer's night just as it was getting dark and he and his son were at the top of the stairs eating their meal and he said they swore that somebody was running up the stairs and they both looked around expecting to see someone appear and it didn't. So do you reckon that this um, building would be a great place to investigate tonight? Probably. Um, a lot of the staff have got stories about, I believe a doctor killed himself, hung himself or something in here some years ago, so a lot of staff have got stories about, mm. about he, you know, heard things or didn't like to work in here at night, that type of thing. 
just after my interview with Dennis, our three challenges arrived. The three girls were invited to this mystery location without any prior knowledge about its history or what they were up for. That afternoon, all three were given maps and directions to a specific location within the complex. The purpose of their visit was about to be revealed. I'm the worst at reading maps. Okay, um, my name is Effie. Um, so far, I've been given a map. Um, it's creepy. It was during the day, but it was still creepy. So um, I don't know what my challenge is yet. Okay, I'm going to try a shortcut, kind of. I'm really quite anxious about the whole thing, but it's okay. All good. Hi, I'm Rosemary, and I'm going to be a part of the challenge for phasmophobia. This is creepy. But it's okay, it was, I saw it during daylight, so it wasn't too bad. Creepy location, uh, sun setting, oh my gosh. Feeling quite calm at the moment, um, but I'm thinking it might be a different story once the sun goes down. My name's Sarah, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. I haven't done anything like this before, so I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I'm glad it's daytime and I'm doing this now because I wouldn't know where to go at night. <laughs> this way. I think. Straight. End of the road. I suppose I've kind of done a couple of things like this before, but not here and it's never been a place like this, so I don't really know what to expect, but I'm ready for whatever happens. I suppose I can say now that I'm that I wouldn't be scared, but we'll see when the time comes when the sun goes down. <laughs> How I feel then. Um, but we're almost at the destination. I think if I'm going the right way, which I think I am. Okay, well apparently I'm going to Ward 9. And I don't know what Ward 9 is all about. So we'll have to wait and see. Alright, we're almost there, Ward 9. I'm almost at the end of the road. A few screens, that's a bit creepy. Ward 10, and this would be Ward 9. Okay. Okay, I made it. Back in here. It's creepy. Oh god, look at this. Hello? So, hey, welcome to the challenge. Thank you. Thank you. Are you nervous? A little bit. I'm a little bit nervous. Not nervous now, but nervous for what will come because I don't know what it is yet. What we'll do tonight is, because yes. um, you, you found the building, yep. okay, so this is, this is going to be your building. Okay. okay, you're going to complete your challenge in this building. Okay. You're going to put a little light source yeah. in one of the rooms here. Okay, you're going to have to find it once you enter the building. Mm -hmm. There will be some instructions near that light source yeah. that will tell you what your challenge is. Okay. And you'll have half an hour to complete that. And see if you come out on the other end. <laughs> or if you do come out on the other <laughs> end. <laughs> Fingers crossed I do. Um, my name is Effie. I've been given a map to find which ward I'm going to be in. Um, so I found my way there, went inside, um, it's creepy, it was during the day but it was still creepy so um, I don't know what my challenge is yet, just that I have to find the light source with my instructions so um, I'm a bit nervous so hopefully that all goes well and hopefully I make it out. Hi I'm Beth, I'm a case manager and also a paranormal investigator for Whisper. And I've just been doing a EMF sweep of the building for this challenge. And um, an EMF sweep is to a device here called a Mel meter, and it detects electromagnetic field uh, leakages that have been left over from a building, mind you, which is abandoned. It'd be very interesting to see if there is any readings. We have had a few. Uh, power has been cut from this building, so it'll be interesting to see um, what happens later on tonight. We've travelled to southern New South Wales to investigate the strange goings on in an old sanatorium. We invited three participants to take part in a paranormal challenge. 
One by one, the challengers were introduced to their locations, but their final tasks were yet to be revealed. Uh, creepy location. Uh, sun setting. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the wind's picking up. Oh, good. Probably psyching myself out more than I should be, but it's okay. Uh, everything will just work out. The paranormal. Okay, I believe that there's something but I have no idea. I've been given no proof. Uh, the skeptical inside me is saying that it's not true, whatever, but... Uh, Welcome to the challenge. Are you excited? Nervous? Anticipation? If it gets too much, yeah, I can always just back out. Like there's no, uh, I try my best, but oh gosh. No, it's okay, I'm just freaking myself out. So have you got any personal experiences? I don't even know. Like I've had experiences where, you know, uh, I've just felt something. Uh, but I brush this off as paranoia, as uh, like I have a slight fear of the dark, I, you know, uh, and this fear of the dark is feeding this paranoia, so... That's, that's, that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah. This is going to be the place where you're going to do your challenge, okay? You're going to put a little light source in one of the rooms that you're going to have to find, mm -hmm. okay? And nearby to that light source, there's going to be some instructions on what your challenge is, okay? You'll have half an hour to complete your challenge. And then see how you go, yeah. how you come out on the other side. I'm Rosemary. Today we've been shown uh, where we're going to be inside. We were given a map. We were told to find our way to the house. We're going to go back in a few hours when it gets darker. But um, yeah, I'm feeling optimistic, a little anxious, but we'll see. All right, so I'm feeling quite calm at the moment um, but I'm thinking it might be a different story once the sun goes down I've you know seen a lot of TV shows on this kind of stuff but to be actually doing it I think it's gonna be a different story I can't switch off the TV and it's only gonna get worse as the sun as the sun goes down see I'm already starting to shiver I'm trying to find the location where I'm going to be doing my challenge. Yeah, um, I'm looking for Ward 10, so. Um, there's not that much signage around, so. Kind of just have to go off what's been mapped out here. Um, they all look similar, but, but not. It's freezing. I think I'm walking in a garden. I think this is it. Oh God, I have to come here in the dark. <laughs> uh. Sarah, welcome to the challenge. Thanks for having me. You sound a little bit nervous. I, I am, I was okay while I was outside, but now walking into the house, it's... I mean, with the sun coming through, it can seem quite calming, but... This is, this is your building, this is where you're going to do your challenge. What will happen is we're going to place a small light source in one of the rooms. Uh, for your challenge, you have to find it first, and it will have some instructions close by. You're going to have to follow the instructions to your challenge. You'll have half an hour to complete it. If, if you survive this challenge, <laughs> then you will have a chance to investigate with um, professional team. That'd be great. Uh, my name's Sarah. Um, so far I've visited the uh, building where I'll be doing my challenge. It was okay during the daylight but now the sun's gone down. I'm starting to think hmm I'm getting a bit nervous but I'm okay I think. 
I think. <laughs> The paranormal experiment was about to begin, but not before the arrival of Team Whisper. The crew of West Sydney Paranormal Research have joined us for the experiment and investigation of this grand complex. What will the night reveal? Hi, my name's Craig. My name is Nikki. And we are founders and lead investigators for Whisper. We founded Whisper due to our own experiences that we had when we were younger. The aim of Whisper now is to validate those experiences, to help people that have questions and um, help individuals and families um, with anything that they may need to know about the paranormal. Okay, today I'm just looking after communications, just making sure everyone has uh, charged walkie-talkie so we have clear communication with each other. This place is huge and it's a vast ground, so... So why is it important for um, the team to be able to communicate? Uh, over larger distances, communication is important. Uh, if we hear noises, we hear a sound, any sort of phenomenon that we think is uh, paranormal, we can always confer with other team members who might be in the, lo in the location and make sure that the they didn't produce them sound themselves. So you're the tech manager, so what, does your, what are your responsibilities? Uh, setting up, making sure all the equipment's charged, ready, ready to go for the investigation. And you also look after the logistics of the equipment as well, isn't yeah, it right? Yeah. yeah, make sure everything's there, make sure all the, all the equipment's, um, there's enough equipment. Mm. Have you ever forgotten anything that turned out to be, that would have been really vital to have a particular investigation? Uh, no, we're pretty well organised. We, um, we make sure it's all it's all there and uh, all the double checks before, before we go. So. so what is your role within the team, Kat? Basically uh, my role is to document um, the investigations throughout the night and anything that Whisper um, is involved in, um, whether it is investigations or it's outside, um, just doing our workshops and anything else that we're involved in. It's more for documenting the historical aspect of the work that you guys do. It's also a little bit about building team image, isn't it? Yes, basically it is about our image, um, putting us out there, putting our works out there, advertising our workshops and everything else that Whisper does behind just the investigations. Right, let's have a chat to um, Valisa, who's the team medium. So how do you find um, your work validating or not the team's work uh, or research with scientific equipment? As a medium, to be able to investigate with actual scientific equipment for me is awesome. And um, the validation process, um, adding that on with an investigation process um, to be such a great team, it's amazing how much validation you can get. And even sometimes I walk away amazed myself, um, but for investigations, I walk in blind with no knowledge or history of anywhere we go. We're at an old sanatorium with West Sydney Paranormal Research investigating a potential haunting. But before our inquest begins, we're sending three challenges into the dark for the ultimate paranormal experience. Effie? Yes. It's time for your challenge. It's time, yes. For my challenge. Any idea what your challenge might be? I have no idea what it will be, but we'll see. We'll see. I just want to find out, really. You sound like you're ready to go. I just got to do it. I've just got to get in there and do it. So, no expectations and just get in there. I can hear glass breaking, which is pretty scary, and I'm pretty sure I saw someone go past, so let's have a look. I don't know what that 
bodies. It's pretty scary, actually. So I definitely know I saw a person go past, which scares the shit out of me. I'm shaking. So welcome to your paranormal challenge in Ward 9. I'll read them and see how we go. This is going to be so f***ing freaky. of noises like down there. It's pretty scary. So at this point what I'm doing is just grounding myself somewhere so that I can focus and see what I hear and um, feel in this place. So That was a bit intense. Yeah, you know what? That's enough. <laughs> okay. It was Hang on a sec. We'll just rig the camera up. First thing I see, I'm shining my torch to get my bearings and I look at the end of the corridor and see, I don't know what it was, obviously a person black like a blanket over their head walking past, walking straight past the corridor light. And I thought it was someone. So I go straight down there, uh, no one there. There's no entrance to get out. So obviously it wasn't anybody. Um, heard some like a bit of glass kind of shatter and that. Glass shatter as in someone breaking the glass, like the window or? I suppose what it sounded like is someone like break, like as if you dropped a glass and it broke. Okay. And obviously there's no open windows, so it's not like the wind could have blown something over. I heard, uh, you know, some footsteps. I heard plenty of footsteps around. And um, and then I heard Effie, whispered Effie. So that was like, okay, I've had enough. <laughs> I think that's enough. Um, but my torch was stuffing up the whole time. So I would press it and go to press it off and it would kind of flicker. It's fine. But there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that torch. No, it's a brand new torch, it's brand new batteries. So what was your actual challenge? Um, diarise what I heard and what I saw um, and also you know it, it, it the question is was this actually a ward that did have um, dangerous kind of mental patients you know the, the extremely deranged if you want to call it mm. so um you know when you're in there it's you don't even want to talk you just mm. want to just listen and, and scared to move around it's just <laughs> It's, it's like nothing I've ever experienced before, uh, ever. So now we're going to go in, back in. You're yep. going to show me around. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I don't. Uh... 